What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Just channel. Welcome back to the Chicago Bears Legends Fantasy Draft Series here on the channel. Now if you guys missed the last episode, we finished the final NC, NF, NCAA. We finished the final NFC championship game in the series. We've gone 10 seasons and this is the 10th season. And we are in the final Super Bowl of the series. This is this is the final episode, official episode. There may be uh, like a little wrap up episode, like a little like ten minute wrap up episode at the end of the or at, later on after this video. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But this is like the first, the final episode with gameplay in it and anything major. The the wrap up episode would just be like reminiscing through the best teams that we've had, the best players that we've had, going over some stats, looking at awards, all that kind of stuff. The the little wrap up things that you would do at the end of a series or at the end of a franchise but this is the final episode official final episode of the the gameplay part of the series so i hope you guys did enjoy this series i definitely did i had so much fun making it and i hope you guys had just as much fun watching it and uh let's see if we can get let's see if we can get a ninth super bowl out of 10 that would be amazing 90 percent success rate in the Super Bowl in 10 seasons that's just outrageous can we do it if you guys think we can make sure to smash that like button hit the notification bell and the subscription button while you're done it takes a few seconds at that and really does help me out I really do appreciate it and let's go for a ninth Super Bowl victory I definitely think we have the team to do it this Colts team is 10 and 6 we're 16 and 0 Trevor Lawrence has been shaky he's been on and off this postseason like he usually is, he's he's definitely tends to get a little uh, a little shaky during the postseason. He throws more interceptions during the postseason, that's for sure. But I think we'll be able to handle it. We usually do. We are in the Super Bowl. We're in Jerry's world, the Super Bowl that we lost. The only one that we've ever lost. We lost to the Houston Texans in Jerry's world, so this could get a little risky here. Maybe bring back some bad memories for Matt Nagy. I think this is the first Super Bowl that we've played in Dallas since that one happened. That's been like six years ago or five years ago or something. We do have to play Terry Bradshaw and Travis Etienne. They are dangerous one-two punch. And the first play is a handoff to Etienne. Oh, it's a pitch to Etienne. And he's brought down behind the line of scrimmage, deep behind the line, five yards to be exact, by Alante Taylor. Second down and 15 now from the 20. Snap a handoff again to Etienne, and he's brought down again for no gain. Oh, he got a yard. I don't think he did. I think that's no gain on that one. Third and 14. Bradshaw's in the shotgun. They are not moving the ball the way they want to to start this Super Bowl. Bradshaw. Has plenty of time. Finds his man. And he's brought down hard by Tyreek Stevenson at the 27. But not enough for the first down. Fourth and eight. A three and out. And the Colts will punt it. Rondell Moore back to receive it. At the 20 yard line. He gets it. Has some blocking. Puts it out to the right. Rondell Moore jukes a man, breaks some ankles. Rondell Moore in the sideline, down to the 45-yard line, brought down by the punter. And Trevor Lawrence making his final Super Bowl appearance in the series. He starts in tremendous field position. Under center, hands it off to Walter Payton for the first carry of the Super Bowl, and it's a five-yard rush to the 40-yard line. Good starting, good starting field position for this Bears team. Get them cooking. Walter Payton runs over a couple of Colts defenders to the 29-yard line. Gets us a first down and a fresh set of downs. Trevor Lawrence with a fake handoff rolling to the right. Trevor Lawrence finds his man deep in the end zone. Chad Ochocinco, no. Incomplete. Drop the pass. So it'll be second down and 10 from the 29. <clears throat> Lawrence in the shotgun. He snaps it. He fires it with man in his face. He finds Ocho Cinco this time in the middle of the field down to the 12. And it's first down and 10 from the 12. 
Lawrence runs the same play, finds Christian McCaffrey on the right side. He jukes a man, and he's brought down at the 11-1 yard gain for run CMC. No huddle again. Second down and 10. Lawrence snaps it. Joss back. Starts to run. Trevor Lawrence doesn't usually do this, and that's why he fumbled it. But the offense alignment, who was that? Who picked it up? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell who it was. I think it was Orlando Pace, but I can't really be sure. Trevor Lawrence fumbled it on the run. And he finds Jerry Rice in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. So he makes up for it on that throw. That was a beautiful throw. And Jerry Rice has an opportunity to win his first Super Bowl trophy. Justin Tucker puts that one up in three easy. The man who is, who is the all-time leader in points for the Chicago Bears. And he kicks this one away into the end zone. And they're not going to return it. Start at the 25-yard line. Hopefully they can have a better outing on this next drive than a three and out. Bradshaw's under center to start this next possession. ETN is behind him. He throws it quickly to his receiver, and he catches it. Brought down at the 32. Great throw from Bradshaw. That was a rifle of a throw. And now he's under center once again. ETN again behind him. And it's a quick pitch to ETN. It doesn't work again. Unsuccessful. Travis ETN cannot find anything on those quick pitches. Daxon Hill, the quick man back in the backfield. And now it's third and five from the 30. Are they looking at another three and out? Bradshaw rolling to the right. He finds his man open. First down and more to the 47-yard line. What an open play. A great call for Bradshaw there. And now they get a fresh set of downs at the 47-yard line. Quick throw, screen play. Muhammad has it. He's down. He's hit hard, but he fumbles out of bounds. Troy Palamalu laid the hammer down. But he, he laid it down out of bounds. And the Colts will keep possession at the 40-yard line. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. ETN has it. He's brought down. He cannot find anything to start this game. Negative eight yards. This Bears run defense is stifling early. Bradshaw, can he get the playoff before the quarter ends? One second left. He does. Bradshaw standing in the pocket, finds his man Muhammad, and he's down to the 38-yard line. That's how the first quarter will end. Oh, the Super Bowl enters the second quarter, and it's 7-0 Chicago leads, but the Bears or the Colts are knocking on the doorstep here. A nice throw from Terry Bradshaw. He is dealing early. Terry Bradshaw came to play. First down and 10 from the 23-yard line. Bradshaw under or in the shotgun. Travis Etienne to his right. He snaps it. Fires it quickly to Etienne. Etienne finally getting some space. Jukes a man and brought down at the 14-yard line by Daxon Hill. Five minutes to go in the second quarter. Bradshaw in the shotgun this time. Etienne to his left. He snaps it. Quick screen. And he can't get the first down. Brought down at the 15-yard 15, 15 line. Third down and two. Bradshaw under center for this third down and two. Snap. Joss back a little bit. He rolls to his right. He's brought down hard by Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor gets the sack on Terry Bradshaw. His first sack of the Super Bowl, and the Colts are forced to kick the field goal. they got to take any points because they know the Bears are dealing early. And this one's right down the middle. Easy field goal, easy three points for the Colts, and it's seven to three. They send it away to start the Bears drive. Rondo Moore back to receive it. Moore has a little bit of space. He gets Mays contact at the 30, and he's brought down. First play of the next drive for the Bears. Lawrence is in the shotgun with. Christian McCaffrey to his right. It's a snap and a handoff to McCaffrey. McCaffrey can't get anything except for a yard. That's really nothing. Second down and nine now. Lawrence snaps it and drops back. 
Lawrence a deep throw, and this one's going to go out of bounds. So it's going to be third down and nine for the Bears from the 31-yard line. Lawrence out of the shotgun, snaps it. Throws it quickly to Rob Gronkowski for a first down and more. Rob Gronkowski to the 49-yard line. That beautiful human Rob Gronkowski with a huge catch and run. And now Lawrence runs the same play as he rolls to the right. He finds an open Randy Moss. Why is Randy so wide open? And Randy Moss gallops magnificently down to the 17-yard line. Second down, first down in 10. Lawrence throws on the run to Gronkowski. It's deflected and incomplete. He tried to throw a lob up to Rob Gronkowski, but it was to no avail. Lawrence in the corner of the end zone. It's a catch. Is it a touchdown? Did he get both feet in bounds? Shannon Sharp. That might need to be reviewed. Shannon Sharp. Matt Nagy throws the challenge on that one. Did Shannon Sharp get both feet in bounds? He got one. So oh, I don't think he got both feet in bounds. They call it not a touchdown. Shannon Sharp was inches away from getting that amazing touchdown in the Super Bowl. But Lawrence turns around and fires it to Jerry Rice for a first down. What a throw from Trevor Lawrence. He is absolutely on fire here to start this game. Quick throw back in the end zone. Steve Smith for the touchdown. And the Bears take the lead even further. Steve Smith with his first catch of the game, and it's a touchdown. And Justin Tucker on to kick the extra point to put it up 14-3 to with a minute 58 to go in the half. Tucker will send this one away to the Colts. And he's not going to return it. He'll kneel it down to start the 25-yard line. Terry Bradshaw's gotten some good momentum on these drives but he hasn't been able to put it away like he wants to. They've gotten close, but couldn't been able to finish it. Maybe on this one they can. First play of the drive is a nice throw, and it's a hard hit from Troy Palamalu, and Jeff Okuda's the one who was in the right place at the right time to pick that one up. Troy Palamalu, that wasn't even a hit. That was just a bulldozer. He just ran right through that receiver, taking the ball with him. And it's a quick turnover after one play, and the Bears are back in business. Lawrence with a throw. Tocho Cinco brings it down two feet in. And now a no huddle. Lawrence loves the no huddle. He rolls to the right. Trevor Lawrence doesn't have much time left. Has to throw it. Jump throw. Did you see that? A jump throw from Trevor Lawrence. The pure athleticism in that throw. Let's watch that again. Oh, we got to get to the end of the play. There we go. Let's get an instant replay on this jump throw. This was fantastic. Lawrence sees that he has to move to the left, so he rolls to the left, turns around, finds nobody, finds nobody, and then a jump throw. A jump throw from Trevor Lawrence. Look at this. Look at the angle that he has to take to find his man. Who is that, Ocho Cinco on the catch? It is Ocho Cinco on the catch. Just the level of difficulty on this throw is unreal. Lawrence, the amount of athleticism that you have to have to throw that. Look at that. That is a pure Superman-style throw from Trevor Lawrence. This is why he is a Hall of Famer. Just the athleticism that you have to have to be able to make this throw. That is a thumbnail right there if I've ever seen one, but <laughs> I custom my, th my own thumbnails. So Look at that, though. That is unreal. He has got both feet off the ground. This is a Super Bowl caliber throw right here from Trevor Lawrence. The ability to have the arm strength in the in the air, both feet off the ground, just to throw it as hard as he can, and Ocho Cinco brings it down. That is fantastic. What a throw. What a catch. I love when you see those jump throws from the quarterback, especially rolling to the left. 
with a right-handed quarterback. So everyone's and now we got to get it back to the game. There we go. Trevor Lawrence is in the zone for this second down and three. 15-yard line, under a minute to go. Lawrence, and he's sacked, brought down by Youngblood. Jack Youngblood gets the sack, third down and 12. So that was a quick in-the-zone moment for Trevor Lawrence. But he runs it back, throws it quickly to Rondell Moore, who couldn't bring it in. Rondell Moore couldn't bring it in. Fourth down and 12. 40-yard field goal, Justin Tucker, that's nothing. The snap, the hold, the kick is beautiful. Right down the middle, 17-3 to is the score with 18 seconds to go in the half. And they will not return this one. So they're going to have 18 seconds to do whatever they want. They may just kneel it. No, they're in the I formation. They're going to go for a play. And they fake the handoff to ETN. And it's a pickoff, Alante Taylor. Trevor Lawrence is going to get another shot. Terry Bradshaw with a crucial mistake late in the half. And Alante Taylor gives the Bears offense one more shot at points. And it's a throw to Rob Gronkowski. He runs out of bounds at the 12-yard line, seven seconds left. Alante Taylor with two interceptions now in back-to-back, -back, in one interception in back-to-back -back games. Seven seconds left from the 12. Lawrence rolls to the right, throws it. So, and it's a touchdown The to toe drag swag from Chad Ochocinco. He is making big play after big play. Chad Ochocinco with the toe drag swag in the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. And that puts the Bears up 24 to three with that extra point. But Ochocinco, he was the one who caught the, the jump throw from Lawrence at the uh, along the sideline earlier in the game. And now he catches the toe, the touchdown in the back of the end zone. Ocho Cinco is making a name for himself here in Chicago. It's too bad that this is the last game of the series because Ocho Cinco is definitely etching himself into Bears history and Bradshaw will just kneel it and end the half, end them the slaughter that is this game. And look at that, the Bears get the ball to start the third quarter. A nightmare scenario for the Colts. Rondell Moore, this is returnable, he will. He has a couple of blockers in front of him. Breaks a tackle and brought down to the 26 yard line. Lawrence with the handoff to McCaffrey to start this third quarter. Christian McCaffrey breaks off a tackle and gets down to the 39-yard line. Lawrence with a no huddle. Has to throw it quickly. Finds Rob Gronkowski down the sideline to the 40-yard line. Now from the 40, it's first down and 10. Lawrence is in the zone once again. Walter Payton in the backfield. It's a snap and a handoff to Walter Payton. He gets a couple of good blocks. Walter Payton down to the 15, the 10 almost to the 13. Great run from Walter Payton there. First down and 10 from the 13, a handoff again to Walter Payton. He gets stopped quickly at the 11. And now it's a no huddle once again, Lawrence. He draws back, fires it in there, and it's caught by Randy Moss for a touchdown. The Bears are piling it on here in this Super Bowl. 30 to three, Tucker on to put it up 31 to three. The snap, the hold, and the kick is beautiful. 31 to three is the score, the Bears lead. Tucker will send this one away to start the Colts' next possession. 
And a hard hit. He does return this one, and he gets it to the 20-yard line. So it would have been better if he would have knelt it down, then he would have got five more yards. Bradshaw back onto the field, struggling in the bright lights. He snaps it from the shotgun, has plenty of time, stands in the pocket, fires it into his receiver, and he's hit hard by Ray Lewis. That was like a missile. He dove in there like a missile and hit that man head on. He somehow holds on to the football, though. And now the next play is a handoff to ETN. ETN jukes a man brought down at the 37-yard line by Jamal Adams. He gets all those negative yards pushed back, and now he has zero yards on five carries. That's just how deep in the, the hole he was. He was like negative eight yards. And now ETN gets it again. He gets up to the 43-yard the yard line brought down by Sean Taylor. Second down and four now. The clock is running in the third quarter. The Bears' defense has been stifling here against this Colts offense. A screen play, and Elante Taylor not fooled by it. Brings him down for a loss of two. Third down and six now for the Colts. The clock is not in their favor. They're running out of time in this Super Bowl. 31-3. to a huge deficit, a huge hole to dig themselves out of. Ray Lewis with a tremendous open field tackle. That is the veteran bringing his A game in the final game of the series. His final game in a Bears uniform. And it's fourth and one. They'll punt it away. Ron down more back to receive it. It's going to go out of bounds at the three, maybe? Oh, the seven. A great punt from the Colts punter. Pinning us back at the seven, but that's not going to stop us because this high-powered offense. First play is a handoff to Walter Payton. He gets up almost a first down. Did he get it? He kind of rolled over the defender, and it's brought down at the, at the 16, second down and one. So run it back, hand it off to him again, and did he get that? Third and inches. They will not give this first down to Walter Payton. So he's going to have to prove that he got it here. And he gets a couple of good blocks. One from Randy Moss. He's down at the 45-yard line. What a block from Moss. That's what Matt Nagy preaches in practice. The wide receivers blocking for the backs. Under a minute to go in the third quarter. This game is all but over. The Bears are going to win their ninth Super Bowl, but it's just a matter of how many points can the Bears put up. 203 yards and four touchdowns for Trevor Lawrence. Could this be a record-setting performance in the Super Bowl? Lawrence in the shotgun from the 36. Sends everybody deep, and he's brought down by Kitchen for the sack. That's going to end the third quarter. What a sack from the Colts. That's their second sack of the game. Six minutes remaining in this Super Bowl. Lawrence chucks it deep to Ocho Cinco. He's hit hard in the end zone and can't bring it down. Almost a huge touchdown. That would have just kept the the legacy of Ocho Cinco alive right there. Lawrence throwing on the run, picked off by the Colts. Trevor Lawrence, this is why you don't throw on the run. Booth with the interception. And the Colts may have something. They may have something here late in this game. They have to score quickly if they want to even have a sniff at a comeback. A quick pass down at the 48-yard line. They gotta keep the. They gotta keep moving. They can't have these long, these long plays. The clock is running. There's only five minutes left. Five minutes left in their season, and it's almost picked off. Taylor probably should have had that. Honestly, he just. Did, I guess he didn't have the edge on him. Empty backfield now. Under five minutes left in this game. Bradshaw taking a lot of time to get this ball down the field, and it's almost picked off. Arguably should have by Tyreek Stevenson. It just goes incomplete, deflected away. He kind of got hit on the when he was trying to catch it and make the interception so he couldn't fully grab it. But it's second down and 10. Bradshaw with the throw. ATN just dropped it. You can't have those kind of plays. 
when you're trying to make a huge comeback in the fourth quarter. ETN's got to hold on to that football. There was nobody around him, and he had both hands on it. You got to be able to bring that in. 440 left to go in this game. Third down and 10 from the 42. Bradshaw, empty backfield. Drops back, deep step. He finds ETN, and he gets the first down. He broke off the tackle of Jeff Okuda and got that first down. Great strength shown by Travis Etienne. And now Bradshaw once again empty backfield. The snap has time. Decides to throw it quickly to his receiver. And it's brought down with a team of Stevenson and Taylor. Down at the 20-yard line. Second down in inches. They're wasting so much time here. They've already wasted two minutes in this game. And they've only got it to the 20-yard line. Travis Etienne gets the ball. He cut, He makes a couple of jukes, and he gets to the 15-yard line, brought down by Lawrence Taylor. What is Sean McVay doing on this play call? And you got to go quickly, bro. What are you doing? 15-yard line, Bradshaw fires it in. Brought down by Alante Taylor at the 8. But the clock just keeps on running. There's no sense of urgency in this in this Colts offense. I don't know what McVeigh is telling Bradshaw, but if they get this score, they got to go for the onside kick, right? And he got into the end zone. I don't know how he did. Did he reach the ball over? Because it didn't look like he ran in the end zone, but they give it to him anyway. So with three minutes left to go in this game, they finally score. They took, what, two minutes off the clock to get that touchdown? So it's 31 to 10. They took 246 off the clock. You got to think they're going for the onside kick, right? Yeah, there we go. I figured they'd be going for that onside kick. And here it is. Ocho Cinco's there to get it. He brings it in, and he'll stay down to get touched at the 46-yard line. Now all the Bears got to do is run this out, and they are Super Bowl champions for the ninth time. Nine out of ten is a good odds. Walter Payton gets a huge opening there, and he carries a man to the 24-yard line. Walter Payton over 100 yards on the ground. Another carry. He's brought down for a loss on that one. Oh, no gain on it. That's better. Second down and 10. The clock's still running. Hand out to Payton. Payton tried to juke, but he couldn't get it fully. 10 rushes, 104 yards. Third down and 11. The clock will go to the two-minute warning. So now all the Colts can do is stop it three times with the timeouts. But I don't think that'll matter, 31-10. to 10. They're going to have to have a miracle if they want to get in this game. Lawrence changes the play at the line. He rolls to the right. Throws it and a comeback to Rondell Moore. He gets the first down. What a route run by Rondell Moore. Terrific route. First down and 10. Lawrence steps back and decides to run it. Trevor Lawrence, he fumbled in the NFC Championship game, but we did get it back. He decides to run it and get down to the four-yard line. Second down and two from the four. The clock is running. Minute 10 to go. Walter Payton, they brought the house and they got it. The Colts brought the house and succeeded on that one. Lawrence, he's sacked on the play. Kitchen with his second sack of the game. Fourth down and six. The clock is going to run. They're on the they're on the field for a a play. The play clock is running down quickly, but the the Colts can use one of their timeouts, but they're not going to because they realize that they have no chance. Five, four, three, two, one. Timeout called by the Colts. So there's only 12 seconds left to go in this game. It's over, but it's just a matter of can the, the Bears add one more touchdown to the score. Lawrence hit as he throws. It's a sack by Youngblood, and the Colts will take over, but there's only six seconds remaining. The Bears are going to win their ninth Super Bowl. Bradshaw back for one more play. He takes a deep step, hit by Lawrence Taylor on the throw. 
It's knocked away, and that's going to be the Super Bowl. Your Chicago Bears are the Super Bowl champions for the ninth time in this series. What an unbelievable series this has been. I can't thank you guys enough for the support on the series. Each and every episode, there's been like, what, 74 of these, 75? I can't even remember how many there's been. But each and every one has been amazing. I just want to thank you guys again for the support. Thank you guys for watching. And you guys got to see so much success. Nine Super Bowls, 10 NFC Championships, so many MVP awards. So many Rookie of the Year awards, Offensive Player of the Year. Trevor Lawrence in his final game gets a Super Bowl MVP with four touchdowns thrown. It has been a magical series. And once again, I just want to thank you guys so much for the support. I can't believe how successful this has been. I mean, the first episode got like 4.9, 5,000 views. I, I can't believe that's just mind blowing. I cannot believe that a video that I made has 5,000 views. So it's just, I'm unbelievably grateful to you guys. And this is for you. This Super Bowl right here is for you guys. Nine out of 10. We couldn't get it all done. We couldn't get the clean sleep, the clean sweep, 10 out of 10. But we do get nine out of 10. 90% still pretty good. That's still passing. And it's, it's a little sad to see this series go. Hopefully we can have more series in the future that are uh, just as good, maybe even better than this one's been. Another good victory for the Chicago Bears. Nine Super Bowl trophies, nine Lombardis sitting on the desk of Matt Nagy, the greatest coach of all time, along with the greatest player of all time, Randy Moss. Let's check that. You know what? Let's not do a final wrap-up. Let's do it right in this episode. So here is your roster for the final season. Those are the quarterbacks. Here are your running backs. Your fullback is Ezekiel Elliott, your, rant, your uh, wide receivers. Here are the tight ends, the linemen, terrific linemen. Everybody's a 99, I think, right? All the starters are 99 overall. That's just tremendous drafting, drafting too. Isaiah Wilson turned out to be a fantastic draft pick out of Georgia. Miles Murphy ended up getting to a 99 overall. Nick Bosa ended up with a 95. Chase Young in a 90. DeMonte Capehart and Warren Sapp are both 99 overall. Owen Popo reached a 95. Khalil Mack still on the team, man. 81 overall, 38 years old. A 38-year-old linebacker? That's crazy. But he's 15 years in the league, and he's got a bunch of Super Bowls. Ray Lewis ended up with a 99. DeGabriel Floyd with an 89. Lawrence Taylor with a 99. Jalen Phillips with a 95. Tyreek Stevenson couldn't quite get there along with Elante Taylor, both at 98. Jeff Okuda reached 95. Fred Davis, 92. Sean Taylor at a 99. Daxon Hill, 93. Paula Malo, 99. Jamal Adams, 33 years old, 92 overall. Justin Tucker had started to decline a little bit, 17 years in the league, 39 years old, 88 overall. And Jordan Dotson, our punter, 78 overall, 26 years old. That is the final roster for this squad. Trevor Lawrence and Peyton Manning both reached 99 overall, and so did Walter Peyton. It's going to be sad to see this series go, that's for sure. Let's check uh, career stats real quick to see who's like a leading, leading receivers and stuff like that. Trevor Lawrence finishes with 30,000 passing yards. 324 touchdowns and 48 interceptions, a career 76 completion percentage. That is fantastic. Uh, Walter Payton finishes with 2,530 attempts, 15,000 yards, 146 touchdowns. Um, receiving, Randy Mosh finishes 
just shy of, of uh, 790 receiving or receptions, 12,500 yards, uh, average of a career average of 15.9 yards per reception. That's crazy. 154 touchdowns. That is outrageous. 154 touchdowns for Randy Moss in his career, in his 10 year career. Ocho Cinco finishes with 9,000 receiving yards, 72 touchdowns. Jerry Rice with 8,000 receiving yards, 73 touchdowns. Rob Gronkowski, 7,000 yards, 77 touchdowns. Rondell Moore, a man that we drafted and groomed, uh, 305 receptions, 4,000 yards, 38 touchdowns. But he he really shined more on the, uh, the punt return and kick return, special teams kind of stuff. Blocking. Uh, Isaiah Wilson led the team in career sacks allowed, uh, but games played. Orlando Pace, John Hanna, Larry Allen, and Jim Otto are four mainstays throughout the series. All played every single game. Tackles. Here we go. Ray Lewis finishes the series with a thousand fifty-three tackles, seventy-one tackles for loss, sixteen interceptions. Um, 58 deflected passes, 24 forced fumbles, 9 fumbles recovered, uh, 0 touchdowns. That's crazy. Khalil Mack had 1 safety and 2 defensive touchdowns. He had 8 fumble recoveries and 24 forced fumbles, 30 deflected passes, 3 interceptions, uh, 107.5 sacks, 1,029 tackles. Jamal Adams had 1,024 tackles, 24 tackles for a loss, 21 interceptions. He should have a lot of forced fumbles. 21 forced fumbles, 7 recovered. Troy Palamalu has uh, 849 tackles, 19 tackles for loss, 5 interceptions. He should also have a lot of forced fumbles. Um, 11 and 8. Warren Sapp is there. Alante Taylor is here. Sean Taylor. These numbers are crazy. Kicking, Justin Tucker finishes with a career 87% field goal percentage, 98% extra point. He made 1,011 extra points out of 1,027. Uh, he only had six of them blocked. Uh, he, his longest field goal was a 62-yarder. Uh, punter, we don't care about that. Ronda Moore finishes with 211 kick returns, 5,834 er, kick return yards, and three touchdowns. His longest was a 98-yarder. Uh, punt return, he finishes with 175 punt returns, 2,062 yards, two touchdowns, and his longest was a 71. Those are some outrageous career stats. Uh, let's look at the legacy leaderboard for Matt Nagy. He finishes with a legacy score of 56,441, nine Super Bowl victories, 10 N NFC championships, and 11 coaches of the year. That is outrageous. That means he won it every single year that we played. He was the coach of the year. And let's go to quarterback. Trevor Lawrence finishes just underneath Tom Brady. He finishes with six Super Bowl victories, eight NFC championships, and 18 awards. Uh, let's go to running back. Oh, where's our running back at? Walter Payton. Well, we got Bo Jackson, a former Bears running back here. Well, LaDainian Thompson right up here. He finishes with four Super Bowls, six championships, and six awards. So he finishes in second. Bo Jackson, another former Bears running back, three Super Bowls, four ch NFC championships, and three yearly awards. Uh, Walter Payton down here, 13,647 is his legacy score. He gets zero Super Bowl. No, he gets one Super Bowl, one NFC championship, and five yearly awards. I guess it hasn't really um, registered yet. But this is kind of this is kind of cheating because Ezekiel Elliott's not really a fullback, but he I moved him to a fullback, so he gets this legacy score of 13,148. He's technically the greatest fullback of all time because he's got two Super Bowls, three championships, and six yearly awards. Uh, Antonio Brown is the greatest wide receiver of all time, but Randy Moss right there in second with a legacy score of 13,820. Eight Super Bowls, 10 championships, and 12 yearly awards. Chad's, uh, Chad Johnson's right there too. Uh, Julio Jones, Terrell Owens, Heinz Ward, Chad Johnson. Rondell Moore's there with a 6,433. Steve Smith is here. Julian... Julian Fleming, I should say. 
tight end Rob Gronkowski in second place all time. Shannon Sharp right down there with 9,000. Orlando Pace, the greatest offensive lineman in history. 15,000 is his score. John Hanna, the greatest left guard. Travis Frederick, a former Bear, the, the longest tenured center in, in Bears history, with 13,000 score is his. He's in the Hall of Fame. Jim Otto right next to him, the backup, or the, the one who replaced him. Uh, then you got Larry Allen with a 15,000. He's the greatest lineman, left guard. And Isaiah Wilson with 11,000. Then you got Jonathan Taylor, Howie Long, Dwight Franey, Jack Youngblood, Ed Tutal Jones, Michael Strahan, J.J. Watt. There's the first real player. Uh, Miles Murphy finishes with a 10,000 score. Joey Bosa, yeah, Joey Bosa finishes with a 7,000. Uh, YGM finishes with a 5,000. Uh, Warren Sapp finishes with a 22,000 score. Demonte Capehart finishes 7,000. Reggie White, I wanted to get him on the team the entire time, but I couldn't do it. He was just too hard to get. Nick Bosa finishes with a 5,000 score. Chase Young finishes 1,000. Khalil Mack, the greatest left outside linebacker of all time, 23,972 is his score. Ray Lewis, a 12,966 for him. Uh, Lawrence Taylor finishes, blows everybody out of the water with a 24,563. Uh, the best corner of all time is Jalen Ramsey uh, with Tyreek Stevenson coming up with a 6,000. Sean Taylor and Daxton Hill are, are the uh, two best free safeties of all time, 5,841 and 5,093 respectively. Troy Polamalu and Jamal Adams won two on the strong safety. And Justin Tucker, the greatest kicker of all time, 18,955 for Justin Tucker. And that is how the Legacy Leaderboard finishes up for this series. What a fantastic series. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support. Once again, I'm just so grateful to you guys. And uh, uh, I don't know really if there's anything else to say. But I do want to tell you guys that uh, I love you. And uh, I'm super excited for the future of this channel. With uh, expanding things on the channel. New series coming. New things coming to the channel every single day. So, if you guys are super excited for the future of this channel, make sure to smash that like button. Absolutely crush it. I want this video to become the greatest, the highest like video of the, the entire channel. And uh, if you guys could do that, it would really make me cry, honestly. And uh, hit that subscribe button while you're down there. It only takes a few seconds, and it would really help me out. I really do appreciate all the support. And... Uh, Let's all say goodbye one last time to the Chicago Bears. I'll say the intro one last time. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Chicago Bears Legends Fantasy Draft Series. There it is. One final intro for the Chicago Bears Legends Fantasy Draft Series, and that is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I'll see you guys in the future. See ya!